Hadi. <coughs> well, here we have the first funny machine, albeit MDF, and mind you, it's super light. <coughs> MDF building upright. So, from uh, conceptual drawings to CAD to CAM to actual machining on the old Miller, um, she's almost there. All more machining up just to clean this face up here. This is taped down. Um, you can see a few minor pieces here where I thought that was too thin, so I changed the program, brought it out slightly. Um, of the things, obviously it's MDF, so it looks a bit dirty, but technically it's in the flesh now. Um, next stop would be to drill. If you look from here, you can see the web, so you'll be drilling to here, 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 and here. Uh, and that will be the mounting bracket which will come out, which will be steel, and mount the top wishbone. And then there'll be another hole drilled through here, here, and here. Ball will go through there with the nut in here. And then the wishbone sits into there with spacers and that holds the lower wishbone. <coughs> um, this, these two leaf points here on the back side, obviously, if you put your captivated, you put your, sorry, your uh, <coughs> capsule bolt and your calendar fits like so. Um, <coughs> if you want to use the AP calipers, then these two ribs here will also have two bolts and the radial mount caliper will go on this side. So if you want to use Corvettes, you bolt here. If you want to use AP, you put it here. So what becomes a left hand of the Corvette will become a right hand with the AP brake. So it's only the brake part that's not symmetrical. <coughs> Everything else is. Um, it's all relieved, it's light. That probably was key though. Actual weight's about five. Okay, thanks. That's what we've got 5.2 kilos. <coughs> Here we have a standard Corvette C5 bearing hub unit. And there's a bearing. Shaft through here, to the back, ABS sensor, soon to be speed sensor, albeit that's got to be converted on. Do another video on that, that's because that signal is um, way too many pulses at the moment for a speed signal. So. Well, for the computers we're using. <coughs> so, upright, standard vet caliper, standard Corvette bearing. So, if I just put this down for a second. There we go. Obviously, this is the standard disc, which is a little heavy. You can buy them in two piece, but basically, it's pretty much the same. Um, and they're aftermarket, so you don't have to worry about trying to go AP. There's plenty of people. When he based us, we'll say no. There we go. And there we have it. So now we have a billet 6160 aluminum upright that will accept Corvette bearings, Corvette 06 discs, Corvette 06 calipers. <coughs> this is a 355mm disc, 32mm wide. Um, in this form, solid form, it's quite heavy, it's about 24, 25 pounds. Um, if you buy the two-piece units, um, they can range anywhere from 15 to 18 pounds, depending on what spec of disc you use. <coughs> so you can get them down to roughly the same kind of weight as an AP would be with an aluminum bell and things. But the offset's obviously the same because it has to fit the same caliper. So you can now either use the 06 caliper or if I just pop the other rotor out, you can use... the AP equivalent. And that will bolt radially to the outside. So there's no pads in there, there's no bolts in this. So you either have your 6 pot AP or your Corvette 06. The Corvette uses 6 individual pads. These use a better uh, staged <coughs> differing bore single pad, which to be honest is better for racing applications. But for standard road use, they
massive reduces it. Actually, the surface area of the pad is slightly bigger on the AP, but not much, only about 5%. <coughs> um, and you can get a single piece pad instead of having six, but they're a kind of a new design and they don't have a tapered piston, so in the, you, will, you will get a, a worn tapered pad, so it's not so good. So they okay for racing applications, but not, yet again, not so much good for that, for uh, normal road use. <coughs> they will wear out at an angle, whereas with the different barrels, they should, the pad should wear out parallel. So there we go. <coughs> so now I have to mark it parts if you don't want to. Original disc. Original bearing. Everything bolts as such. Same like I say, I put drill here and here. And drill some on the top so there's another drilling op. That uh, particular cam program doesn't do the doesn't do a cam drill cycle, so I just build them myself. Uh, these little lips here, as you can see, kind of there, that will be completely smoothed off. Um, I'm learning the cam package as well, so basically I need to uh, extend the virtual billets on the PC so the machines are flat. <coughs> it wouldn't extend the so the tool path past here, so but you know, minor thing. So uh, there we go. First up soon to be in position. But now, much of the walking, I'll now start on doing uh, uh, one that hasn't got all the bits and pieces and just redo it, just refine it. I've brought some slightly better tooling, um, so a different slightly diameter. Um, so basically I'll redo the whole cam package again through that and then I'll retest it with, a <coughs> with another billet. Uh, and then do so final final stage. This was just the first first little attempt to do the whole thing. So, but I'm majorly pleased. So, there you go. We're upright, almost ready for buying new.